Okay, for this video, you're going to need your scrap yarn, a needle. I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook, scissors, and a little bit of stuffing. This is a very beginner friendly project and a great way to take care of your scrap yarn. Once you're done with it, making a toadstool, you can make it a keychain or just decorate your house with it. I'm going to start off with a magic circle. If you do not know how to make a magic circle, you can always start off with a chain of four. Now into the circle, I'm going to make six single crochets. One, put your hook into the hole, pull up a loop. You have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. Two, three, four, five, and then six. I'm going to pull on the string and close my loop. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet I made. Chain one. For round number two, we are going to increase in every stitch. So at the end of the round, I'm going to have a total of 12 single crochets. Going to the first stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Slip stitch into the first stitch of round number two. Now for round number three and four, we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch around. So chain one. For this round, just put one single crochet in every stitch of round number two. So you're going to have 12 single crochets at the end of this round. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven and then twelve. We're done with round number three. You're going to slip stitch into the first stitch. And then you're going to turn your work like this. Bring it inside out so that you're working on the outside of your work. We're going to make round number four the same way and I'm going to see you at the end of round number four. Okay, so I'm done with my round number four and I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch. This is what my work looks like so far. I'm going to make two more rounds the same way. 
that means five and six are also going to be one single crochet in each stitch around. So you can keep doing the same thing for three, four, five, and six. Four rows of 12, um, 12 single crochets. I'll see you at the end of row number six. Okay, so I'm done with round number six. For round number seven, we are going to increase in every second stitch. That means that you're going to chain one, single crochet in the first stitch, and two single crochets in the next. Single crochet in the third stitch, and two single crochets in the fourth. This means that you're going to make two single crochets in every stitch. So at the end of this round, you will be left, you will have 18 stitches. So one, two. If I'm going too fast for you, please pause the video, make your round, and then continue. Slip stitch into the first stitch. Now we are going to make round number eight with one single crochet in each stitch around. So at the round, end of round number eight, you're going to have 18 single crochets. One single crochet in each stitch around for round number eight. As you can see that our work has started going bigger as we have added stitches. This is going to be the base of our toadstool. You, if you want to make a bigger one, go for a bigger hook size. If you want to make a smaller one, go for a smaller hook size. The bigger your hook, the bigger your project. The smaller your hook, the smaller your project. Okay, for the next round, what we are going to do is round number nine. For round number nine, we are going to increase in every third stitch. So that means you make one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and then two single crochets in the third stitch. One single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochets. This is going to be our pattern for this round. One, one, two. One, one, two. One, one, two. One, one, two. At the end of this round, we have a total of 24 double crochets. For the 10th and final round for the bottom, we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch around. So at the end of round number 10, you are going to have a total of 24 single crochets. I'll see you at the end of round number 10. Okay, so I've reached the end of round number 10. 
I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet I made initially and I'm going to snip off leaving a long tail. Fasten off your work please and we are going to stuff the bottom of our toadstool now. So take your stuffing and stuff your toadstool. Use the back of your hook. Don't overstuff it because we don't want our stitches to stretch. And we have to attach the top of the toadstool as well. So we would be stuffing at that time as well. Okay. Now that we've stuffed the bottom of our toadstool, what we are going to do is that we are going to put it aside and we'll start working with our red yarn. Now red yarn is going to be the top of our toadstool. You can use whatever color you want. I like to go with the original toadstool color, the fairy tale one. Okay, a magic circle and six single crochets in the loop. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. Pull the loop, close the circle, slip stitch into the first single crochet. Round number two is going to be two single crochets in each stitch around. So that's going to leave us with 12 single crochets at the end of this round. Two single crochets in each of the single crochet of round number one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. For round number three, we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve. For round number four, we are going to increase in every second stitch. So that means that one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochets in the next. One single crochet and two single crochets in the next. At the end of this round, we are going to have a total of 18 single crochets. Two, one, One, two, one, two. For round number five, that's going to be the last round for the top. You are going to 
increase in every third stitch that means first stitch single crochet second stitch one single crochet and the third stitch two single crochets first single crochet second single crochet one and the third one is going to have two single crochets so like this at the end of this round we are going to have a total of 24 single crochets one two one two one single crochet one single crochet two single crochets one single crochet one single crochet two single crochets one single crochet one single crochet two single crochets this is the fifth and the last round for the top you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch now you have two options here either you cut off your yarn and you stitch it to the bottom what i like to do is that i like to put the top of my toadstool on the bottom leaving this tail aside I'm going to line up my stitches like this I'm going to chain one go into any stitch from round from the bottom the white part you can see these V's go into any stitch here I'm going to go in this stitch pull up a loop And single crochet put the next stitch on top of the other stitch insert your hook in the red one first and then in the white one pull up a loop and make a single crochet you have 24 stitches for the top 24 for the bottom Go into the next stitches. As you can see, I've put my hook in both the stitches, the red one and the white one. I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to make a single crochet. Go into the next V stitches for both. Here. Pull up a loop. Make a single crochet. That's what we have to do for the whole thing. I'll see you once we have at least five stitches left at the end because we have to stuff our top as well. Okay, so I've reached almost the end of my toadstool and I've left a tiny bit of space open. I'm going to take my stuffing I'm going to stuff the top from this tiny space I have here. I do not want to overstuff my top because I want my top to be a little on the flat side Here you go. And make sure that the tail that you had left from the bottom stays out of your way because we are going to need it to make the spots on the toadstool. That's it with the stuffing. Okay, now since we've stuffed it, 
we have to make sure that our stuffing does not hinder our stitching. So if you can, keep pressing it backwards and we can fix it after we are done. And you're going to carry on making single crochets just like you were doing before. Stuff your you can use your thumb to push your stuffing back. You're almost there. And since it's all stitched up now, the stuffing itself has settled inside okay the last single crochet and slip stitch into the first single crochet you made on the side slip stitch snip off your yarn and fasten it Now you're going to shape up your toadstool the way you want it to be. I like to push it up like this a little bit. Use your fingers, make the stuffing sit in the way you want it to sit in. Now let's make the spots on our toadstool. Take your needle, grab the bite yarn, that you had left when you were snipping off your base. We are going to go in from the white hole, from the white part. We are going to go in from the white part and we are going to push our needle up very slowly and then bring it back up. Now you can make your spots any way you want. Just make sure that from one hole you jump to the other hole, leaving some space in between. Try not to pull your yarn, uh, your stuffing out with your needle. Go into the next hole, come out from another. Done. Go into any other hole, come out from another. Done. And you can make as many dots as you want. And once you think that you have enough spots on your toadstool, Just move your needle in and out a few times and slip it off. Yeah. Now you can tuck in this end as well. To is ready. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. We'll be coming up with a lot of beginner friendly stuff. <coughs> I'm sorry, I had a frog in my throat. Um, beginner friendly stuff. We are going to make amigurumis. We are going to make a lot of cute, fun stuff like this as well. So stay, stay tuned.